let me give you an example. So right. yesterday, you saw on my Instagram, I put up that picture, yeah? yeah. The the cartoon character of the, the full of the yeah. girl. And I said, do men find this attractive, yeah? 84% of people said that they do find it Shut attractive. Shut your... Wait, yeah. wait. And let's be clear. The cartoon, she had saggy she breasts. She had saggy breasts. She had, she had a, 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 she had a, she a had kangaroo more, pouch. Yep, yeah, she had more than a fupa, thick thighs, thick arms, like... Big round hair, face, round big face. Hair. And 84%... Do you think they lied? You lying. lying. No. People actually DM'd me and said, any man that don't like a girl like this is an idiot. What? Idiot. So what? I'm you telling you now, man don't want no slim gal again. Them gal they're not go on with things. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. Sorry, you are. <laughs> but certain guys don't want the slim, the size eights, the size sixes. When you're in bed rubbing up, what are you rubbing, fam? You trying to start a fire or what? <laughs> but don't you feel conscious sometimes when you're the man is smaller rub, than you? Nah, rub my nah, if he's rub smaller my than you, really? How small are we talking? Because I don't want, I don't like small, small guys. You gotta have a little. Body. A little meat on you. Do you like like the dad bod that's got a little belly? No. Oh. Actually, how dare you? You've got a belly, fam. Are you not? Like, not am I you not? Two of us can't have a belly. <laughs> two, 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 two people can't have belly. Two people can't have belly. So one of us has got to have it, and one of us doesn't. So you understand? So you, your thing needs to just be a little bit small. You understand? I'm not saying you got. I'm not saying you're you got such a have, hypocrite. No, I'm not. You're such a no, I'm not. What if you said that to you, mate? Then why are you trying to date me then? Because I don't. You met me with a belly, bro. That's true. Man. You met me with a belly. Like, I'm not saying that I wouldn't, but it's just not my preference. So do you, you like talking, fat dudes? You talking to me means I'm your preference. Do you like fat dudes? How fat are we talking? Like, you know on ASOS when they got plus size men's clothing? I've never looked. I've you never looked at them? No. Rah. So there's some... Are we like, talking Ruben Studdard fat? <laughs> or are we talking... Rick Ross now fat. Rick Ross now fat. Mm, I don't know. Do you know what? I shouldn't say that. I've I've never a, a Rick Ross type guy has never approached approached you. me. Do you yeah. think fat dudes don't approach thick girls? No. They do. Yeah, they do. Mm, them two bellies there. They do. But <laughs> again, I'm the belly not, sweat. You know must be I'm wild. Not, I'm not saying it. <laughs> I'm not saying that if a if a chubbier guy spoke to me, I wouldn't give him the time of day. You're lying. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You're like, really you wouldn't. You like you fat fuck. You like I'm not even joking. I wouldn't say that. You would inside. I wouldn't. Don't lie to me. I wouldn't. You're chatting say... the most shit. Camilla, I would if there not is say a... that. Shall I tell you why? Let me tell you why. Why? You've never had a big dude. No, I've never had a big right. dude. Right. You because... telling me no big dudes never talk to you, and they got bear personality. Have they? No. A big dude's never spoken to me. All right. No, a big dude's never spoken to me. I don't know, maybe because he thinks, raw, she's big, I'm big, it's not going to work. But a big dude ain't never spoken to me. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So I've never, I don't have anything to... But don't you think that your um, charismatic bad bitch personality does attract the bad boys, though? Yeah, yeah. Oh, a thousand percent. A thousand. But I like that. You really you like... You know, you know me... You, my guy, like he's it's, got it's, a, he's like probably served eight to ten. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. You got a vo tattooed on you. <laughs> got the table. No, but I like a guy that's got that little Rough. Bit of ruggedness. Do you know Why? What I mean? That's drama. Let it's me tell you something. The stories drama. that we've talked about with your exes, they've been drama. So much so you can't sleep a good night in at your bed because you don't know who's at the door. Yeah. But How do you cope with then. that? I'm not, I don't live that life anymore. But you want to. Because if I you don't, if you no, no, yourself, I didn't say that. I don't want a guy who's going to be, my door's getting licked off every five minutes. I don't know where you are at night. Like, um, if you're asking me what type of guy I want, what type of guy you want? Do you know what? I, I'll be honest. Mm. I just want someone, yeah, who is just fun. I want someone who's spontaneous. I want someone to love on me. Mm. Do you get me? I love myself and I love the person who I am. And like, yeah. I know the type of girlfriend that I can be and I know what I bring to the table and I know how I would treat you. Yeah, do you understand? Yeah, yeah. I just kind of want that to be reciprocated. Yeah. So as much as I could sit here and be like, yeah, I want my guy to do like, that's all I'm asking for. And I think even when girls say what their type is uh, or what they're looking for in a man, 
90% of the time, it's the bare minimum. Yeah, it's the minimum. It's the bare minimum. When I tell you I want the what? bare... Me asking to be respected. <laughs> me asking you to stay loyal. Trust me. Me ask, Don't gas the bare I minimum. Want the, I'm not asking you yeah. to come in my yard, that's make true. sure my bills are paid on no, time. true. Because there's girls that want that. They want the Birkin. Yeah. I, I, they want the ice, baby. Yeah, I don't know about that. I ain't getting them. I ain't getting them things. I don't, and I, think, I don't need to be on the Birkin. But someone said to me that they think my standards are quite low. Yeah, because my expectations are not to receive the Birkin. That I need to up my standards. Yeah, but you do need to. You do need to. I think I do. Shall I tell you why? Because you deserve it. Yeah, and I think I and do as well. Never. This is my issue. So, when I was in my last relationship, never make a man feel like without him you can't have that bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, yeah, without yeah. him you can't go to that restaurant. But I never or do. Without him. You can't do this. But I downplay. So, for example, the money might be in my account mm. to do it, but I'm not going to put that on you because I know you're, it's not in your account. So I make them feel that it's okay that we don't go to those places. No, but you shouldn't do that. Why not? Because why, then would they you, get, why would you want a man But then they feel, get comfortable and they get complacent yeah. and they feel like, I don't need to make the effort to take yeah, her there. Yeah, I don't need yeah. to make the effort to do these things. I don't need to make the effort. Why? Because she's got the money in her account. So if she wants to go, she's going to go. She's going to pay. Thing. Let me no. tell you something. The relationships that I've been in, I've been the payer, you know. I am yeah, that girl that... for you because not me. Not me. I'm that girl that pays Unless for restaurants, want... you know. Are you all right? I've paid for restaurants. I've paid for holidays. I've paid for courses. I've paid for... Haircuts, I've paid anything you think. Why are you, not, why are you not calling me before you're handing out your debit card? I don't understand why you're not. Because that's my version of love. You know, like no. the love language things. I, mm-hmm. I'm a giver. Mm-hmm. If I've got five pound, you've got four pound. You know, I'd rather not see my nah, I'd rather see myself go without than a person that I love suffer. I'd rather you have because that's how I love. I love when I love. Yeah, I love with my whole being. But I need it to be fifty fifty. Why is it not 50-50? Life isn't 50-50, babe. It should be 50-50, though. But it and when you're in a relationship, it should definitely be 50-50. Is that realistic? Because it if I was be. to really write down what I'm doing, you're going to have to do a hell of a lot to get up to that 50%, you know? Because I go to work mm-hmm. and I contribute to more than 50% of the bills. Mm-hmm. I look after our children or child mm-hmm. more than probably you do. Mm-hmm. I also do home stuff. Mm-hmm. What else? What are you adding then? Where, where are you coming into this? They need to also do home stuff. They need to also be there to look after the child or children. Mm. They need to also contribute towards the bills. Yeah. This ain't no free run. When you're yeah. at your mother's yard, is it free run at your mother's yard? This ain't your mother's yard, brother. What, because you go to your mum's and food's there on tap, yeah. your clothes are washed. Well, this ain't your mother's yard. Yeah. Your mum ain't asking you for rent. But for girls that like myself, who are natural givers, what I find is that when you stop giving... Sometimes you don't even know who you are because that's how I am in, in where I am in my transition. I'm now finding out the new version of myself. But like, I'm a natural giver. But it doesn't mean that because I'm a natural giver, I'm going to get walked over. So you think I'm an idiot? I don't think you're an idiot. I think you're soft. Well, you're not an idiot because you're my bedroom. You can never be an idiot. But you're soft. I am soft, you know. You need to stop. But you can't be like that, Kat. Yeah, I know. No, but do you know what is? See 2021. That's what I said at 2020. <laughs> See, 2021, new things are running, a new wave. No, but why are you waiting till 2021? Because that's... Why not tomorrow? <laughs> why not tomorrow? Why 2021? What's, what's the difference between tomorrow and 2021? Because I, I feel... What, that... what extras do you need? What, why do you need the next couple of months to get, you, to get right? Because I'm, wor- I'm listening to Bear Podcast at the moment on self-development. Yeah, the one that you sent me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm affirming myself. I'm building up me. So when I come into this new season, I'm ready. <clears throat> I know you don't agree. I don't, <laughs> no, I don't agree. I don't agree. You just think I should wake up tomorrow. Yes. Do you know that the average woman? Do you know yourself worth? I feel like I do. I bring a lot to the table. You know, you see my table. Come like, but you know, Jesus you, and the twelve disciples. So right bro. now, you you right now you can firmly put your hands on your heart and say you know your self worth. 